as you can see, I don't like having anything on my countertops. I like my countertops nice and clean and clear so I could mix up and chop up and fix whatever I need and there's no clutter. So I don't have any appliances out on my countertops. I only have the things that I use a lot like the salt and pepper shaker, the um, flour and sugar, and um, the oils that I use. And I even have those in nice beautiful containers that look like the other decorative pieces that I have out. But pretty much everything is clear so I have lots of room to work. All my appliances and everything are tucked away inside the cabinets and the drawers. But inside the cabinets I have everything right at hand so I could just grab it when I need it and it still looks nice and neat and organized. The cabinet next to my stove is a corner cabinet, which is great because there's a lot of room in here. This is where I hide most of my appliances. I have a Lazy Susan in here, which is fantastic because it rotates and it makes use of all the space in my cabinet. And here I have some measuring cups, some measuring spoons, some mixing utensils. I have a juicer here as I turn. I have some spices. Um, I keep large jars of spices because some recipes call for um, a lot of salt or whatever. So I have different types of salt, pepper, and seasoning salts here. And I have a blender here. I have two different size um, blender containers. I have a chopper and I have some pieces, um, some parts to the blender. So this is the top shelf. At the bottom, I have um, sifters. Um, I have a mixer. I have mixing bowls, different size mixing bowls, metal and plastic, funnel, colanders, I have knives, um, knife sharpeners. So as you can see, I have a lot in this cabinet. Um, it holds a lot of room and um, everything I need is right there. I can just pull it out when I need it. In the upper cabinet next to my stove, I have my everyday spices. I fill these jars with spices that I use a lot and I label the jars. If you see my last video, you know that I keep containers outside in the garage on the rack with all the products that I use to refill my jars and containers inside the house. This helps me keep everything clutter free where I'm working. I removed a few shelves to stack my spices up to be able to see everything. On the top shelf, I have beans and some homemade breadcrumbs. And again, the key is to be able to see everything that you have so you can get it quickly and work more efficiently. On the cabinet on the opposite side of the stove, I have liquid spices. And most of those I have sitting in these sturdy wicker baskets so that I could just pull them out get the spice I need and put it back up. I have my cooking oils next to the stove along with salt and pepper, cooking utensils, and I also have baking supplies like flours and sugar. And this plate stand also works for me as a recipe book stand. Now back to the cabinets. In this cabinet, I have all plastics. I have plastic containers, plastic cups, plastic drink bottles, and all of my containers are even inside a big container. Uh, this keeps everything neat and I could pull everything out to see what I need. I have all the shapes together and all the tops next to each container. I keep a lot of um, takeout containers because I use them for Christmas cookies and candy and to store my leftover food. 
And of course, I use a lot of these containers for organizing things. In this cabinet, I keep my Pyrex pans and dishes. And this vertical rack works really great for organizing those. You can get this from Target or Walmart. At the top, I stack the larger pans. As for the pots and pans, ideally you like to have a place for each pot with the top on it so you could just grab the whole pot out and cook with it. But I have lots of pots, so I have a few pots inside of pots with the tops inside of those, which makes things a little more difficult, but um, they're stacked by the size and it's a, it looks pretty neat. I also used a vertical rack to organize some of my baking pans. The cake pans are all stacked neatly on a top shelf also. And speaking of pots, I also have a pot rack above my sink. And these are the pots that I use quite often. So I can just grab these and cook with them. And it saves a lot of room inside my cabinets. By the way, I made my pot rack out of a closet organizer. I believe it was for hanging belts, but I drilled holes at the top of the cabinet and hung the belt rack um, from there. And it was perfect for hanging my pots. Okay, so I have more appliances hidden above my double oven. I have a toaster oven inside a cabinet that I made into a butler's pantry. And I have more appliances inside the storage seating next to my table. The drawers are pretty easy to keep neat with the section dividers. I have a couple of sets of silverware so I keep all those like pieces together so I can set the table and have the same silverware for everyone. Even the junk drawer can look pretty neat with the section dividers. And lastly, if you have a drawer where you store your plastic wraps and foil, one important thing I learned is to store your boxes facing down. That way, when you close the drawer, the um, lid won't get caught and tear up the box, and it makes it nice and neat and uh, easy to work with. I learned that from my organizer, LaShawn, also. She's so smart. So that is pretty much it for cleaning and organizing the kitchen. Just remember to try to make as much space as you can by only having the things you need in the kitchen. Store the rest somewhere else out of the way. Make sure everything is visible. And containers, containers. Use containers to organize. It makes everything look neat. Thank you.